This is a video tutorial showing you how to use Skyward Family Access to complete this year's forms and documents online. You'll start by going to LISD's homepage, which is www.lisd.net. You'll click on the Parents tab and scroll down to Skyward Family Access and click the link. You'll then find the link that says Family Access Login in blue and click on it. This is where you will put in your family ID and password and click the sign in button to get started with the process. The program should default to the online forms page, but you can also go there by clicking on the link up here in the left. You'll start the process by clicking on the blue words here to link you to the first pages. As you can see, you have quick instructions here and you have different steps to follow. I've already completed some of these, so my links are blue, but most of your links will be gray. You are not able to click on the links out of order. You have to click on the, them step by step, and once you have verified the information and completed the step, you will click on the completed the step check mark box. That will allow you to go on to the next process, to the next step. As I scroll down here, um, one of these steps is optional, and that is step 10, the 1-to-X user agreement. Fourth graders this year do all have the opportunity to receive an iPad if they would like, so that's what this step is for, completing the user agreement form. Since this is an optional tab, you can go out of order and click on this step to access it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the link to show you what it looks like. And you'll see that there are three different options up here. The fir first one is um, you'll want to check on this one and the second. If you do wish to have your student receive an iPad this year, you're um, confirming that you've reviewed and agree to the conditions below. And also that you confirm that you have received a copy of the LISD 1-X Student Parent Handbook. And that's located at this website. There's also other valuable resources here as well, such as FAQs and so on. If you do not wish for your child to get a device, you can opt out by clicking on this box. You'll fill in your name. And as you scroll down, you'll be able to see that there are terms and agreements here and there are different options for coverage. Option one is a non-refundable annual fee of $40 that puts you in the LISD replacement benefit program. If a student cracks their screen or loses an iPad or it's stolen, um, you are covered here and there's information about it as well. Option two is a one-time refundable deposit of $50, but that does not cover you for accidental cracked screens or damage or loss or if it is stolen. So once you read through the rest of the information, you'll come back up to the top and click what is most appropriate for you, and you'll click on the back button. In order to complete the process, once you have checked that you have completed everything and you are finished, then you'll go in and do the final step by clicking here. Fourth grade parents do have the option of paying for the iPad online. To do that, you will click on the fee management link that's on the left side, and you'll notice that you already have an unpaid balance of $40. This is for the option one. Option two, the non, the refundable $50, the one-time payment, you have to pay for at the school. But you'll click on the Make Online Payment tab. Then for the appropriate student, you'll click Update Payment Amount. You will check the box that says Pay Charge, and that will change it to $40 in this amount, and you will update the cart. You will see that the balance has changed here. Now you're ready to click on Pay with Vendor. Now you're ready to click on Go to Checkout. You will log into RevTrack and complete the rest of the process.